Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. How's it going everybody? We're gonna do things a little bit different this week. Um, we're going to play off of last week's episode of uh, watching for abnormal volume. So abnormal volume, again, is above average volume. And what we're looking for is we're le either looking for a breakout or a breakdown at these levels. And so what we're going to do is we're going to recap this week's runners. And we're going to go back and visit those and we're going to look at their volume on their five minute and one minute charts and we're going to compare that to what we know about abnormal volume and this is how you can begin to practice your analysis of volume you need to have hindsight in order to know what to do in the future of course it's trading in hindsight yes we know now what happened and that these are breakdowns and these are breakouts but you have to analyze the volume that goes along with those. That way you know in your analysis that you have conviction that it's a real breakout or breakdown. So let's go back and visit this. Uh, ignore TTOO. That's just um, a thing I had on my chart already. But first off, we're going to go through the most recent uh, no, we're going to save that for last. We're going to start back at the beginning of the week, and we're going to look at GBR. So GBR happened on September 16th. So let's look at September 16th on a five-minute chart, okay? Straight out of the gate, uh, let's switch to a one-minute real fast just to kind of clean this up for ourselves. Let's see. So a lot of people will look at this, and they will analyze that it has resistance here. But notice the volume, okay? This is what tells you what a stuff candle is. The volume tells you everything. What happens when that level gets rejected? It opens here, tries to immediately push, okay? The opening candle did 80,000 shares. That's not very much. So when it pushes here on literally double the amount of shares traded, and creates a big wick like this, a lot of people got bagged in that. 90% of retail day traders, on average, are long traders. We have a lot of short bias traders, but 90% of retail that trades this stuff is long biased. 90% of the volume is long biased. Is probably a long trader. In most cases, that is the case. When there's a big short squeeze on a stock, you could argue that there's more shorts than there are longs. But in a situation like this, there are very much so more longs than shorts. And so knowing that 90% of retail go long, because that's what people are taught, they're taught that you buy low and sell high. That's just, I mean, I didn't even know what short selling was. I was literally a long trader and I would buy it and then it would die. And I was like, I swear to God, if there was a way <laughs> that I could sell first and it drop and make money, I would be a profitable trader. And that's when I discovered short selling. And I was like, no way. There is no freaking way that I can sell something short, bet against the stock and make money. That's There's no way. But it's true. Uh, and so I was attracted to the short side. But anyway, so... When it rejects on volume, you know that based on, like Austin talked about in last week's webinar, or on this week's webinar, I'm sorry, on Thursday, that would have been Thursday, September 19th, he talked about behavioral finance, exact same day, okay? Yuma was a big gapper on this particular day, and if you remember, 
Yuma has gapped several times. This is going to be the day in question right here, this red candle, okay? So if you remember, Yuma was a big gapper here and it sold off heavy. Yuma was a gapper here and it had a big wick and sold way down. It never actually opened at 232, okay? Just to be very clear there, that was a late print that happened. I don't know if any of you saw it. It was the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life, uh, but it, it happened. Anyway, so it gaps up big right here. Big gap up, okay? So you've got resistance here, you've got resistance here, here, and here, right? Now, let's go back to the chart, and let's jump back in the beginning of the week here. So, here at this point, after pre-market, what do we have? We're looking at market open. Now... You've got a big sell-off here on this candle, big volume, big volume sell-off, the biggest volume. I mean, look at it compared to everything else. That's a huge volume candle. Huge volume candle at the open. It's falling down to VWAP. They're trying to support it. You've got a big wick here. You've got a big wick here. What happens? You get a big green bar. <clears throat> the green candle cannot overwhelm the red candle on the volume chart, right? So that means that there is more supply than there is demand. There's more sellers than there are buyers. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.